So we got some air coming up here. Oh, damn it. Suspension just grabbing it. Oh, we're whipping this right in. Come on, come on. Oh, no! It's not what I had in mind. everybody welcome back today guys to the channel Gran Turismo Sport I wanted to come back today and revisit the Tundra I just recently picked up a 2020 Tundra TRD Sport it's a little bit different than the Pro that we have in game we have leather seats in here we have a dual cap back exhaust system we have 18 inch wheels on this one compared to the 20s that come on the Sport we have that black stripe on the front there but we still have those double scoops man I love the double scoops we do have a different front grille on the Sport compared to the Pro and of course the stamp side bed. Love the Pros. I feel like they're too expensive for what they are. They're almost an extra about what, like twelve to fifteen thousand dollars more for what you're getting. The sport I felt like is right. It's just as good, man. TRD red sway bars. We have the red suspension, right? It's a beautiful truck. Really happy to see this in the game. It's the only game to have this in here. And uh, we're going to go ahead and drive this forward today. Make it look like mine, which I've already done on the top there. We have TE37s on it as well, so it's going to look good. I drive it stock, take it on some rallies, see how it does, maybe some online, but it's going to be a lot of fun. I've actually went around, and I was just taking a bunch of videos with the truck driving around. It looked good, man. It really did look good in the game, and, you know, you can really tell the passion behind the game and the detail. And, you know, it's not always about just you know racing on Gran Turismo it's more than that right it's about kind of experiencing the whole game right I mean the museums the channels you know the vision cars there's so much more to this game than phase value I love Gran Turismo Sport we're gonna play this once again for today thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to slap that like button of course before we start today though dad joke of the day King M1249 he goes dad joke my wife asked me to go get six cans of Sprite from the grocery store I realized when I got home that I had picked seven up jokes man keep them coming we had a couple new cars actually coming into the game we had a 911 carrera rs club sport beautiful car we're not driving that today though man the tundra if you guys want to see the carrera right slap that like button down below let me know truck does look good though man look at those wheels they're so aggressive it's exactly how i want my truck to look man i would love to have a set of te37s on the truck i wanted to take this actually to WeatherTech Raceway Laguna Seca. This is brand new in the game. We have yet to drive this actually since it dropped in. Right? I kind of miss Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, right? I mean, I don't know. Is it just me? I'm really too sure what happened with it. I'm assuming it had licensing issues or, you know, maybe their contract just came up and they said, you know what? WeatherTech. It's cool though, right? I mean, I like their stuff. They make great stuff. It doesn't roll off the tongue anymore, man. Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca. Now it's WeatherTech Floor Mats Raceway Laguna Seca. Right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Man. Is it the Floor Mats? No, it's it. My truck does not sound like that. You can hear that TRD intake. I'm pretty sure you can hear it. It's just sucking in that air. Ooh, damn, man. I may have to get myself a nice exhaust system on the truck sooner or later. Backed up, no wonder. 11.02 on the ride height. We have a little bit of a lift kit on here. We're gonna, we're gonna put in a couple laps here with the truck. Man, look at the view. Oh, this is sick. I missed this game. I do believe uh, traction, yeah, everything is off. That's good. Now, force feedback, though, I just want to quickly see if we can boost this up, especially when we are trying to drive and not drift, in a sense. Oh, yeah, look at that. Run one, man. Let's go up to five. Here we go. That's probably going to be crazy. Oh, shit, I forgot we have, we have a lot of weight. Oh, shit. All right, here we go, here we go. Starting in a little bit of a back of the pack now. This guy's actually trying to pass me. Breaking away a little bit. Force feedback feels a lot stiffer, which is good. Remember, we have about, what, like 5,700, 5,500 pounds? Exactly, just like that. It's a lot coming to a stop. The truck does feel really good, though, around corners. I mean, especially when you're driving it, it just hugs everything. You know, come around to the highway, on ramps and such, you can really just feel it gripping the corners. And I would love to see this truck actually on the track man it'd be really cool i think it would handle very nicely oh, turn signal roll by yep <laughs> i love the fact that we have turn signals man oh, yep hug it hug it hug it 
I'd probably drop a gear right now if I was you. No, nope. okay. We're going to uh, first person. Always a favorite on this game. Let's see if we can make this. Oh, yeah, we can. Come on now. The Tundra is taking corners better than the E30. Jeez. Now remember, the turning radius on this truck, I feel, is probably best in its class. I mean, I don't know. Is there any other truck that has a better turning radius than the Tundra? If so, let me know down below. Because this is a beast when it comes to asking to turn in these wheels. It has so much steering lock right out of the gate. And it kind of does on the game, too. Now, I got a squeaky brake pedal. I don't know if you guys can hear it or not. It's definitely not the best thing to listen to. I do apologize. I'm going to have to figure that out. Oh, boy. Coming to the brakes. And what's cool about the truck that I have, when I got it from the dealership, I have uh, the Toyota app already installed for 12 months. I think I get it for free. It's like the Toyota Assist app. I get the remote start. I can lock the doors, open the truck up, you know, start it from not even being in the same area. You know, say if the wife takes the truck and she says, you know, start the truck for me, please, I can go on the app and actually start the truck. Now, another thing that the app does, though, is it actually tracks how I drive. So, it, you know, it'll track acceleration, braking, cornering. It's pretty crazy, at least when you go into, you know, a hard break or hard cornering, sorry. It'll actually kind of keep a record of that and, you know, show you your driving level almost in a sense. So it's kind of interesting to see. I haven't really done too many crazy pulls or anything like that with the truck a couple times, but I've yet to put it into tow mode and really feel the power of the truck. So I definitely want to record that at some point. This guy's pushing me to the side, which is not a problem. We're in the Tundra for a reason. And we're just going to, right, come on in. Here we go. Oh, I still got my signal on it. I just keep passing people. No wonder. Moving up. Take that signal off. A little bit worried on this corner here. We don't have a lot of room. There we go. Suspension just soaking that all up. And we're actually leaving these guys right now. I'm impressed with this truck. Oh, oh yep, yep, yep. These guys are on the hardest setting as well too. I'm not understanding why we're passing everybody. Truck feels good though. No oh, traction. Put that right off, sorry. Let's just throw it in a little bit. Oh man, I wish I could do this to the truck. Oh my god. Maybe one day, but I just, right, I can't do it to it, man. It's so new, I can't. We're actually going head-to-head -head against a DLC car right now. We're going to try and take one on this side. So nice though, man. Look how tiny it is though. That would be a really great comparison to see this side by side. I actually did this with my buddy's MRS the other day. We went for a little drive, took some pictures. I actually posted one on Instagram, but the sheer size difference is crazy though. It really is. Oh shit, oh shit. We're okay. Nope, nope, nope. I think we're in 4x4 mode, unfortunately. I wish we could go down to two wheel drive. Of course, this is stock power. I want to see how it does on uh, maximum power. Let's see if we can get some tires spinning. I may catch second place up here. Maybe even first. Alright, hard brakes, hard brakes. Whip it in. Oh, yes. Come on. No way we're running that down, man. This guy is not even on the gas. He can't be. He can't be on the gas. Oh, shit. Off-road it. Uh-huh. Go hard in. Oh, go, 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 go. Take that off-road line. Not going to be enough. But that right was close, though. If we could have taken the off-road line and actually won that, that would have been great. Or not won that, but second place. We got podium, though. Right? One does not belong. Look at how big the Tundra is compared to everything else. Oh my god. It's so big. You really don't understand how big it is though until you really get next to it. Especially if you do have a lift on it or you know some bigger tires, which I'm really hoping to obtain that same fitment look right there is what you see. I'm not trying to go crazy with you know the lift and the level. I just want to you know just be able to throw on a nice set of wheels with a nice fitment to it. No rubbing, nothing obnoxious, right? The wife still, right? She's still got to get in and out of the truck, right? I still have baby to take care of in there, right? But it's a perfect family truck, though. It really is. I haven't had any problems with it. Obviously, a lot of people will say that it's a cheap truck. It's outdated, which it is, right? Obviously, the interior is outdated, but you don't buy a Tundra 
for the interior though, right? You buy it for a lifetime truck that's going to last you for, you know, as long as you need it to. This truck's going to last you a long time, man, right? It's built to last, it's been proven, and I may have picked up the last gen Tundra before the new redesign in 2021. So that's also something pretty cool to think about if I am, you know, the last owner of that 2020. Rolls off the tongue though, man. 2020, 20, right? Low pub status right now. I don't know. Ooh, daily workout. Let's go. What are we getting? Something big. I'll take that Mustang though. Oh, what is that prototype car? What is that? Oh, Jag F type. That is nice, man. Okay, I'll take that. Thank you. Let's go to Fisherman's Ranch right now. Have a little fun in the dirt. Daytime. Can't do more than two cars. That's sad. Okay, so we're going to drive the same thing, man. He's going to get the truck, too. This is going to be perfect. We got a one meg truck race go. Oh, man, the two trucks we're going to go right now. Is this in black, looks like? Let's go. That's sick. TRD white and TRD black. Now, unfortunately, it doesn't look like his is upgraded because he is not even damn racing, looks like. Come on, man. Move it. How come these guys don't drive? I don't understand. We don't even have a challenge. All right. See ya. Unless it's a one make stock race. That's the only thing I can think of. One make stock. Right, we're going to run this a little bit here. Oh, boy. We got some air coming up here. Oh, damn it. Suspension just grabbing it. Oh, we're whipping this right in. Come on, come on. Oh, no. It's not what I had in mind. That was the whole, you know, point of why I wanted to do this, though, was to be able to drive it with the transmission. Obviously, with the handbrake, obviously, is not um, legitimate. But, hey, it's fun, though. And it helps with the rally. Pop it in, handbrake. Oh, no, no, no. They're just having a little cruise down the hill, looks like. Yeah, no, so I'm trying to I'm trying to drift it. It's actually not bad. A little bit can. I love this roof view, though. I really do. Go, go, go. Wheel is just shaking. I don't know if you guys can hear it. All the dirt. Oh, we tapped that right at the very end. That was actually pretty cool. It's a massive track, man. This is at least, what, like a seven-minute damn rally here? This is pretty cool. I didn't even know that this was this long, to be honest. Go. Now, if you guys did miss yesterday's episode, though, we were on a set of Corsa. Definitely feeling like doing a lot more set of Corsa episodes. So if you guys do want to see it, make sure you guys go back there, check it out. Slap that like button down below. See what we can do, man. Trying to get some more Grand Theft Auto up this week as well. Forza Horizon 4 has just been really stale, man. There really hasn't been anything that came out that was you know, of any interest to me um, for the next, you know, two weeks. It's like that. So just cruising. I can't believe it's just cruising, man. I can really though. We're in a rally race, and this guy's cruising. Take care, sir. We're not even on the same team. Huge air coming down the hill. Oh boy. Yeah, that's okay. Once you get into these, you gotta really just be careful not to not to overdo it. Just like that. Okay. Well, that was fun. Um, a little bit harder than I expected it to be, though. Damn. Look at them coming out side by side out the gate. Oh my god, that's so sick seeing that. That's something that I definitely would like to do at some point with the truck is either go, you know, to a rally off-road adventure, you know, something off-road with the truck, and uh, I'd also like to maybe do a little bit of autocross with it, or actually, you know, try it out on the track, and just take some corners, nothing aggressive, but just, you know, drive it, right, just have some fun, maybe we'll have to do a Tundra Lobby one day, and, uh, you know, get some people online and have some fun, definitely would like to check, oh, 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 wasn't that nice, I thought it was going to be a little bit nice, right? Guy just drives by. Thanks a lot. See ya. It looks good, man. I told you. I looked at a lot of different slideshows. It's just the truck just cruising around. And it looked really nice right there, though. Damn. Yo, we tapped it. I don't know. Can you drift the Tundra properly, though? If you guys have a drift tune for it, let me know down below in the comment section. That was embarrassing, man. I can't believe we clipped that front end right there. Just like a monster truck sounds like almost, too. Now, the biggest thing I didn't really talk about today was the double hood scoops. And to be honest with you, 
I'm a fan of it. You know, it kind of just reminds me back in the day of Need for Speed Underground days of just, you know, over the top customization. I feel like with, you know, the double scoops on the trunk, it just wants to have fun, man. I want to have fun. This truck is definitely a lot of fun. It's going to be fun for a long time. That's one of the best things about this. So it kind of grew on me. I like it. They're both non-functional, so why not throw a second one on there, I think Toyota said. So, right, I appreciated it. Huge air coming out of it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to slap that like button. You guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all of which, <laughs> of course, all of which are found down below, man. Look at me. I'm a, I'm a psycho with this thing, man. Holy shit. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.